AJ, I'm warning you here, okay? I was starting to trust you. And I'm willing to consider what you and the Quartermains might be able to do for Michael. And it's not out of the question that I could bring Jason around, too, in time. But man, if you start this paternity thing again, you are going to push every button that Jason and I have. Mark my word, you nor the rest of the Quartermains are ever going to see Michael again before his 18th birthday. Oh, please. Oh, I know you way too well. You start talking cooperate is a sure sign you're desperate, which I can completely understand why. Because what kind of mother gets committed to a mental institution and leaves her son with a criminal instead of his own father? Carly, it'll take 10 minutes for a judge to declare you unfit to raise a child. I would be unfit if I let, let you anywhere near child. my son and his father agrees. You can delude yourself all you want, but Jason is Michael's father. Speak of the devil. Which is how I look at you more or less, Jason. Oh, but wait a minute. This is all Carly's fault, right? Because it was, it was all her lie. All you did was keep quiet. Well, why don't you do me a favor, bro? And break your silence. Tell me. Who's Michael's real father? Jason, you have a reputation to uphold. The man who never lies, it gives him a headache. The man who chooses his words with surgical precision. Say no when it's yes. Say it's black when it's white. No, not our Jason. So, Robin tells me I'm Michael's father. Carly says I'm not. What's your story? Huh? Are you going to tell me you had a thing behind Tony's back? Back before his pre-bonker days? That's right. Every time he left the apartment, every time he left the room, you guys would go out and couldn't get enough of each other. No, we couldn't. <sighs> Which means that you were cheating on Robin every chance you got. Okay. So when Carly showed up pregnant, there wasn't much doubt in your, in your mind that the baby was yours. You know, I can't remember back that far. But there is no doubt. I am Michael's father. No. Jason, what you are and what you've been all along is a liar. But how did you keep Robin quiet for so long? Because I know that she wasn't crazy about living with this. How could she? Oh, excuse me. Wait, would you tell him that Robin is jealous? She's jealous of a little baby and tell him why. Because of her HIV. She's okay, afraid she's never okay, going to have okay, kids. Carly, and she can't Carly, stand we're not talking about Robin. She's not here. I don't know why she said what she said, but she was wrong. Sorry. Cat's out of the bag. Now, since we're on the subject of honesty, you want some from me? <laughs> See, when Robin first said it, at first, at first, I, I didn't believe it. Now, she had told me that Carly had lied to you about who Michael's father was, well... But you see, I always thought that it was all those dirty tricks, all those things that we Quartermains were famous for. That's why you turned your back on us, because you were above us. You were too pure for us. But then, all the details started to make sense. They started to add up. But why would Robin take you back after Michael was born? That's evidence that she'd been replaced. And why was I the one quarter man kept furthest away by you and a caution light flashing in your face by her? Carly, Michael's waiting. Did Robin give you any proof? Of course not, because there isn't any. Well, that will change. Um, AJ, Michael has Jason's blood type. Now, you found that out from the hospital, not from me. Look, 
Maybe Robin believes what she's saying, but it's a fantasy. Carly, let's go. Wait a second. I mean, look at the timing. It happens right when Jason and Robin break up. Does that sound like convenient to you? Does that sound like revenge? Carly, I said drop it. She's not saying anything I don't already know. That's exactly what this is about. Your revenge on me, Jason. You never forgave me for the accident. You never will. I will always be to you just a drunk who introduced your head to a tree at 65 miles an hour, right? I mean, no apologies, no 100 apologies would ever change that. But what can I do? But say it and grovel. But it didn't matter. You looked right through me. My remorse meant nothing to you. In fact, you claim that your life was better off without us. But hey, talk about your secrets, huh? You sure paid me back. You took, you took my son. You took a year of his life away from me and you, you tried to take the rest. You talk about getting even. I will never feel guilty again, Jason, ever. You know, Michael has nothing to do with your drinking. He has nothing to do with driving or 65 miles an hour. That tree did me a favor. It's like they took my brain out and gave it back to me, laundered of all of you. I didn't steal Michael to pay you back. I didn't steal Michael, period, and I'm not going to let you either. He belongs with his mother and me. Five minutes around that kid, and you can see that. Well, I'd love to have five minutes with my son. You know that? I mean, those two hours that I spent with him were like, they were like Christmas and Fourth of July all in one. It made me feel like a kid again until his jailer walked in, which is what you are, Jason. You're not his father. You handpick the people that, who are allowed to go near him. You control every breath he takes. But that's going to change because I'm coming to his rescue. That's right, I'm going to get a court order paternity test. A blood test, Jason. Fine. Fine, AJ, you know what? You do that if you want to make a front page fool of yourself. You think our moment at Jake's complete with drunken blackout is going to touch the public hearts? Hey, our alcoholic hour did not make a baby. I may have been lonely and not very discriminating, but I wasn't crazy. I protected myself. Well, you better notify your parole officer, because you will be having some legal troubles ahead. And believe me, it'll take a judge all of ten minutes to sort this out. And then I'm going to take my son home, give him my name, and do everything I can to make sure that he forgets you, that you never existed. And don't you dare tell me to shut up. Jeez, I know that she hates me, but how could she do this to you? What are we going to do, Jason? We're going to get out of here and get home to Michael. Come on. What did Sonny say? About what? What are you doing? Michael's upstairs. Yes, he's fine. He's with Leticia. Is she getting him ready? For what? Well, I told Johnny that we'd be at the airport in 10 minutes and be leaving so that we can get on the plane and just go somewhere. I don't know, maybe like maybe like where Sonny was before, where you said it was really great, nobody found him, Michael, like the ocean. Okay, hold on, Carly, we're, we're staying here. This is our home. Do you not get what AJ is trying to do here? Look, a judge took Michael away from me once before, and if your brother gets his way, this time it'll be forever. That's not going to happen. Oh, really? And, and how because are you... Because I'm not, not going to let it happen. Okay, you're either in shock or you're in denial. And while I sympathize, I am not going to let it cost us our son. Jason, you can't stop AJ. What are you going to do? I mean, are you you're going to beat him up? End up in jail? Bribe a judge? For every judge you buy, Edward will buy ten. And then he'll come after us with everything he's got. We don't stand a chance of keeping Michael because Robin had to okay, open her stupid mouth. Just hold it, okay? You were Michael's mother. 
Courts want kids to be with their mother. Right, mothers that shoot people, Jason. Mothers fresh from a nice long stay in the hospital for the criminally insane. No judge is going to be on my side, okay? It won't take Edward and AJ 10 minutes to make me the poster girl for unfit mothers. And you, once AJ gets that blood test, you will be completely irrelevant. Do you understand? You'll be the guy who read to Michael for a year of his life. You will have no legal right to him whatsoever. It'll be like firing the babysitter. He loves you so much. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. You know, because by morning we could just be Mr. and Mrs. Nobody Carly, living anywhere. Carly, we, we can run any time. First we fight. I don't know if I can. Well, you, your, your job is not to panic. <laughs> yeah, like that last week in Ferncliff. You have to trust me now more than you ever have. No picking up a gun and shooting anybody. No pretending to be crazy. No meeting Edward or AJ halfway. I need to hear you promise me that you will keep it together for Michael's sake. I'm gonna try. No, no. Promise me. Okay. I promise. Mm-hmm.